In this video, I would like to show you how to make money by charging service providers for adding listings and making them featured. Featured listings appear at the top of the search results. To do that, we need to install the free HivePress paid listings extension. Simply go to the HivePress extensions section and proceed by installing and activating the mentioned add-on. The starting point is to create the WooCommerce products that will be used for payments. To do this, go to the WooCommerce Products Add New section to add a new product. Here, you can set the product name, price and mark it as a virtual product. It will be used for charging users for making listings featured. Then, click on the Publish button. Also, let's add one more product to link it with the premium listing package we'll create later. Great, now navigate to the HivePress Settings Listings section and select the product we have just created. Also, don't forget to set the featured status duration in days and save changes. Now, let's check out how it works. To do this, we can open the website homepage, then go to the user dashboard, pick any listing and click on the star icon. As you can see, there is a redirect to the checkout page where users have to fill in the form and proceed to payment. The selected listing will get the featured status once the payment is processed. That's how it works! Alright, now let's create some listing packages to charge users for adding new listings. Go to the WordPress dashboard, Listings, Packages section and click Add New. For example, I'll create two packages, a free and a premium one. Let's start with adding a free package. Enter the package name, describe it, set the maximum number of listing submissions and the listing expiration period. Finally, click on the Publish button. After adding a free package, let's add a premium one. Simply enter the package name, fill in the description, select the WooCommerce products that we have created previously, then set the maximum number of listing submissions and the listing expiration period. Also, keep in mind that you can make listing packages category specific by assigning them to corresponding listing categories. This way, you can sell different packages depending on the listing category or you can make certain categories free. Everything depends on your website niche and requirements. Finally, click on the Publish button. Ok, now let's try to add a new listing to check how everything works. Simply go to the website homepage and click on the List a service button. I'll briefly fill in all the fields and submit the listing. As you can see, users have to select one of the packages to add a new listing. And if they choose a premium package, there is a redirect to the checkout page. That's all! Now the website is almost ready. But it's also very important to improve its performance, both for user experience and SEO. In the next video, I'll show you how to do this.